Hi, my name is Maybelle Estelle. It's French. And I'm here today to tell you about when I used to smoke cigarettes. Now that weren't too smart, but then again, I weren't too smart back then. Now I'll tell you when I started smoking cigarettes is when I got me a car. I had me a 1963 Falcon. Four doors, four windows, four tires, ain't got no radio, ain't got no air conditioning. Well, the air conditioning we had, we called it four by four. You had your four windows down. Yeah, that's what we called it back then. Anyway, that's when I started smoking cigarettes. And I was a sneaky little thing. Well, my friends, we'd smoke cigarettes and we'd be all sneaky and everything. We is smoking cigarettes. Now, the thing about smoking is... If you're going to smoke a cigarette, you're supposed to bring it down all into your lungs and then blow it back out. Well, I didn't know that. So I just puff it into my mouth a little bit. But I'd hold it real cool like. And I was like a real cool cigarette smoking silly girl. Anyway, so then we got real brave. We thought maybe we'd go out in public and smoke cigarettes. We went down to the IHOP. And we was smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee. We was, oh, we was so growed up, we thought. Anywho, well, there was this girl, Cindy, and there's this other girl. I can't remember her name. She had long dark hair. I don't know what her name was. And we was sitting there at IHOP, smoking our cigarettes and drinking our coffee. And she says, Maybell, you ain't smoking. You're just a puffing. And I said, what you mean? She says, you ain't bringing that down to your lungs. You just puffing it in your mouth and blowing it out. You look like a fool. Well, I didn't want to look like a fool smoking because I thought I was cool. Well, anyway, she says, you got to bring that down into your lungs. So now, I wasn't too stupid. I didn't want to take a big old draw and it, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Because that would really look stupid, wouldn't it? So anyway, I take me a little puff and I bring it down into my lungs just a little bit, test it out. Well, I did not come up coughing and sputtering. And that was a good thing because I was in public. Anyway, so I took another draw, brought it down into my lungs. Took another draw and brought it in my lungs. And pretty soon, did you know what? I got to be a little dizzy. And I got high off cigarettes. It's just regular old cigarettes. It weren't nothing in it. I got high off cigarettes at IHOP smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee. Now, I thought I was pretty sneaky, and I left them cigarettes in the glove compartment of my car, my 63 Falcon. Now, what I didn't know is that Mama, Mama Dewdrop, she done found out I was a smoking. And what did she do? Well, she didn't walk up to me and say, Maybelle, is these your cigarettes? Because I would have said, no, Mama, I'm holding them for Cindy. Them's her cigarettes. She was a shrewd interrogator. Now, I was at the kitchen sink, and I had my back to Mama. She is behind me, and she comes out with this shrewd interrogating question. She says, Maybell? Yes, Mama. What have you learned from your experiment with cigarette smoking? <gasps> I done been caught. Now, if there had been a mirror, I would have seen all the blood run right out of my face. I would have been as white as a sheet because I done been caught and mama done caught me. It was very bad. Now, she was a shrewd interrogator and she didn't ask me no yes and no question because it's easy to lie. If somebody says, have you been doing this? You say no. Anyway, so she done asked me that question. What did you learn from your experiment with cigarette smoking? And I froze, and I didn't know what to say. And I said, well, it smells kind of bad. And that's pretty much my cool comeback. It smells pretty bad. That was my answer. Well, anyway, I kept on smoking, and it was really stupid. But anyway, we got us these ducks. And we had ducks in the backyard, and Papa Dewdrop had fenced it off with chicken wire. Now, chicken wire is pretty good when you got chickens.
But, and ducks, grown up ducks. But then grown up ducks had baby ducks. And they was cute as could be. We had like us a dozen baby ducks. And uh, one of these sure days, the ducks got out of the fence. Because it was chicken wire and all. Ducks was only this big, you know. And the chicken wire is this big. Anyway, they done got out of the fence. And what did I do? I ran all the way around to the other side of the fence so I could stop them baby ducks from getting out. Well, I got to the other side and I was breathing like this. It was right then I decided to quit smoking and I ain't never smoked since. I did not want to die from lung cancer. So, that's all I'm going to say about that right now. Thank you very much. And have a nice day.